Hi, I'm Ali, and this time on Clips, we're going to look at open source licensing. You may already know that copyright protects creative works, but have you ever heard of copyleft? If you're interested in learning to code, we found a great place for you to start. A team at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has created a website that lets you make games and animations. Using the visual programming language Scratch, users can choose to write their own code or build on another person's project. It's this environment of collaborative development that makes Scratch a great educational tool. We'll provide a link in the video description so you can see for yourself. To make all this possible, Scratch uses open source licenses to deny users their natural right to exclusivity. Instead, Developers have to share their creations and allow others to make improvements. Although this licensing model was designed for programmers, it's recently been adapted for other copyrighted works such as music and video. The most popular of these initiatives is Creative Commons. But first, let's start with the basic position. In the world of copyright, rights holders control how their works are used, modified and shared. In some countries, this right lasts for the creator's lifetime plus a period of 70 years. Its main purpose is to reward originality, allowing works to be commercially exploited. To make money from their creation, the copyright owner has a choice. They can either exploit the work alone or license use to another party. For example, an author may grant distribution rights to a publisher whose relationships with bookshops might help sales. Alternatively, the internet has given creators a direct way to interact with their audience, effectively cutting out the middleman. The problem is, when it comes to copyright, Online expectations are very different from the real world. Because of its collaborative nature, some people think the internet would benefit from relaxed copyright rules. And it's this idea that opens the door for a new type of license. In some cases, open source principles are used to cancel out the effects of copyright. Here, in copyleft world, artists pull their expertise to create combined works. Those collaborations are then in turn shared so other people can make further changes. As we've already seen with Scratch, open source licensing can work well. Even without the reward of exclusivity, it's clear that some people are willing to make valuable creative contributions. But in other cases, greater protection might be necessary to gain investment. Expensive projects such as making Hollywood blockbusters aren't likely to be funded without the opportunity for profit. Back in the world of copyright, artists can rest easy that the market won't be flooded with knockoff goods. On the other hand, the copyleft sculptor may not be motivated to spend time and money on his work. The protected art will be fiercely defended from unauthorised copying, but the downside is it might not reach its audience. Whereas in the world of copyleft, a combined effort is also capable of producing a masterpiece. Both systems have their strengths and weaknesses. However, if you think open source principles are right for your project, Here's what you need to know. In common terms, these licenses allow copying, distribution and public display without any license payments. In other words, they give users rights without obligations. In addition, the licenses from Creative Commons allow you to restrict use in certain ways. Specific terms can be added to prevent sharing of derivative works, such as remixes and compilations. You also have the option to stop commercial use, or you can make sure adaptations are licensed on the same terms as the original. There's really no conflict between the worlds of copyleft and copyright. The license you pick will depend on the situation. You might even decide that you don't need a license at all. If you need a refresher on fair use, the basics are explained in our last episode. Well, that's open source licensing in a nutshell. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.